Hello and good morning to each one of you this beautiful morning and welcome to our God's Word for today, devotional. We have just one verse for our devotional this morning. It's Proverbs chapter 12, verse 23. Let me read. A prudent man conceals knowledge, but the heart of fools proclaims folly. Now, an important principle we can learn today is silence means prudence. It's prudent to keep silent. This is true in most cases, is it not? It's better to keep silent when we have nothing good to say, is it not? When we have nothing to say, it's just better keep quiet than to say something that will hurt others. It's better to say nothing than to babble out something foolish. Even if others might think poorly of the silent person, there's a great advantage in being careful with one's words. As we learned earlier from Solomon in Proverbs chapter 10, verse 19, he says, When words are many, transgression is not lacking. But whoever restrains his lips is prudent. Remember, he who restrains his lips is prudent. As somebody says, the face is always safe as long as it keeps its mouth shut. The problem really of faces is that they are opening their mouth so they are hooked. In the same manner also for fools, when they don't keep your, uh, their, their mouths shut, they will be hooked into a situation wherein they will regret later of saying something that they should not. It means that more words, more mistakes. Also, an English proverb or proverb says, it's better to be silent and thought a fool than to speak and remove all doubt. Indeed, out of the abundance of the foolish heart, his mouth will, will expose it. This is corroborated by Solomon's statement in Proverbs chapter 17, verse 28, that says this way, Even a fool who keeps silent is considered wise. When he closes his lips, he is deemed intelligent. How true is it that when a person is quiet, we have some assumptions and suspicions about that person, but by the time he will open his mouth, we will know what is inside his head and even his, in his heart. However, the prudent person thinks there is right time for everything, a time to say something and a time to be silent. Who is the prudent person? A prudent person is one who is a sensible person. He has a good sense so that he does not feel obliged or he has no obligation to ramble out or to say what he knows or thinks he knows. It is wise to keep quiet about one's knowledge, waiting for the right moment to offer good advice. Sometimes we say something before we listen everything. Sometimes we spoke or we speak a comment before we hear the both sides of the stories. That's why we get in trouble. We get in problem because we have, we have not exhausted all the informations and then we had already our opinions or conclusions about the thing. So it's better really to take time, be patient and listen carefully before we speak. So the wise person or the prudent person has a show of self-control or restraint and because of this, he shows humility. In contrast, a fool is quick to speak, likely to spit out something silly or nonsense, even hurting, rather than helpful or edifying to others. He is wearing his heart on his sleeves. His rust words are like sword trusts. That is what we read in Proverbs 12, verse 18. He mistakes his foolish counsel as wisdom that he feels compelled to share with anyone within earshot. As Proverbs 13, verse 16 compares the prudent and the foolish, that reads this way, Even prudent man acts with knowledge, but a fool flaunts his folly. So what does this mean for us today? Today, I think we are to, get, to be careful on what we are going to say. And even 
be careful that we are not going to be rust on our words. Let's consecrate our hearts unto the Lord because the problem really lies not on our lips but on our hearts. Like David, let's ask and plead this before the Lord. In Psalm 19 and 14, he prayed, Let the words of my mouth and the meditation of my heart be acceptable in your sight, O Lord, my rock, my redeemer. Let me repeat this one. Let the words of my mouth and the meditation of my heart be acceptable in your sight, O Lord, my rock and my redeemer. Now, this is a gift from God. That's why we ask this from God, that our mouth and the meditation of our hearts be acceptable before Him. It's not um, possible, if not for God, to help us through the empowerment or the enablement of the Holy Spirit. So let's ask Him to take control of our hearts. Let us pray. Father, may you just take control of our hearts today that we will not be rust on our words, we will not be rust on our talk, but we will be careful that we will be prudent, Lord, in dealing with people. Help us not to hurt people. Help us to be thinking many times over before we can to say anything in order that we will edify people through our words. Thank you for this reminder. Thank you that we can depend upon the Holy Spirit, that He will guide us and give us the control of our lips. I pray that this will um, become real in our lives today. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Mm -hmm.